Give me one second. Today is Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. And I am at People's Park with Gigio, who is also an artist. And um, what's your preferred pronoun? Uh, he. Okay, he is going to give us a rundown of what we're doing here today. So go ahead with your history lessons, my friend. Yeah, so um, I've really been learning a lot about it just like in these last couple days like just how complex it all is but it it um it goes back to what is it oh the situation here at people's park where um where essentially uc berkeley it starts with uc berkeley it has to do with the city too but you know they they've had a vendetta since 1969 um against the people um who and against this movement you know because it, it really it starts with a movement that has to do with free speech free thinking and, and also you know having a, a public space where people can gather and um so you know in 1969 the, the the groups of people you know the hippie the hippies and then also the college students black panthers all these different um you know groups uh, of people who who essentially changed the the world they they fought for this place and this this was a cent a center point for all these different groups too not just not just one faction of it but for all these groups to come and meet and it was their intention to to keep this place you know for the people by the people um and yeah so it, it goes back to then as i understand it uh uc berkeley at the time came into some money and they were supposed to build here and they never did anything with it they just kind of demolished it and at that time the students you know this was actually it started with the students there um the students began uh occupying the space and 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 you know renovating it and and, and making it um giving it a purpose you know that, that wouldn't there wouldn't have been there before and um you know and and that and that student movement branched out into a lot of other things you know a lot of a lot of other uh, political polit political you know uh, revolutionary um, uh, movements as well but it started with the students and um, you know at that time uh, UC Berkeley they 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 basically sick the sick the hounds on everybody you know they brought the police out you know um, multiple riots um, people bled you know people died for for this cause and, and to keep this land and and, and to, to have it be here so e even even with these peaceful these were peaceful um, movements they they had to pay and shed and shed blood you know for this place to be what it is and um, and what do the people want here well they there's you know there's a list of things that that um that the people today want i mean one they want to preserve this place and also you know there's there's a history of of corruption and greed with with, with the school because actually uc berkeley this whole time has supposed to be responsible for upkeeping and taking care of this place and um, they've purposefully neglected it and let it become um, a homeless encampment, let it become uh, a place that, that, that ends up feeling like it's an eyesore to, to the world. Um, and, and then they scapegoat that cause. But really, a lot of people who are attached to this place, I mean, one, they want to definitely um, preserve the historical um, site. It's actually just got, it just got recently added to the National Registry of historical sites and um but there but there are also a lot of ideas too floating around about how this place can really be utilized and and and, and um for for the benefit of everybody you know some people um suggest returning it to the ohlone people and 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 letting them decide uh what should be done here and others you know there's also a garden here too so people you know there's discussions about um actually you know and this is uc property you, you got students on on you know on campus who this is what they're learning but they should be coming over here and being able to utilize this too you know um there's a lot of ideas about how this place can be you know actually preserved utilized and continue to be really what it is which is like a culture of uh, free thinking and um you know nurturing nurturing genius and 
and revolutionary ideas, which is really what the university is trying to shut down. Like they, they scapegoat the homeless, they make it about money and real estate, but it's much deeper than that. Wow, I really like what you said about um, the students being on campus learning about this, but not necessarily being here physically hands on. And like part of um, you also mentioning about people wanting to build something that kind of benefits everybody. I don't know why there isn't or is there conversations around even if it's UC Berkeley thinking, yeah, this is their property, but having students do like the community work, give back and have it be active and serve people or figure out how to incorporate people. Or I definitely agree with giving it back to Ohlone people so people can actually tend to the land because this can be a site for like, you know, like driving social change because there's a garden that's food yeah there's like land yeah we can figure out how to add water in here like we have the entire elements right and it and it, and it always has been it, it has been this entire time i mean over the years you know like the, the bay area has suffered through you know the changes you know of of just just the greed and the corruption and whatever you want to call it the gentrification all this all this stuff you know and people and it's been reflected here what on on people's park too you know um it's all over the bay it's so this is all over the country really it's it's a nationwide problem it's not just here in people's park but you know that that um that that culture of being able to cultivate um you know social change has never really left you know and a lot of those people who come here that that are homeless you know down and out you know because of that culture they're able to kind of like get on their feet and really find who they are really you know um at, for themselves not for not for uh the system you know wow so um what is the direct ask right now for people for community how can oh can i ask you not to do that um sorry <laughs> well you, you you know there's a lot of there's a lot of uh that's part of what I'm out here doing. I'm, I'm, you know, my main thing for me, I'll, I'll tell you that I'm just trying to start the conversation, you know, and put it out there. I believe that this place needs to be preserved. That's number one. I believe that it needs to be saved. That's, that's number one. And I'm trying to raise awareness and consciousness. And I hope that the conversation can actually get out there to actually be had on like on a real forefront and not just beyond these couple blocks here because you know, people aren't really, um, people aren't as aware about what's going on like past these few blocks here on Telegraph. So I feel like if people can get the word out and know what's going on, you know, like, cause this is, it's like, it's, it's, such, it's a national historic site. Like people, like imagine like people around the world, you know, go to college, they read, they read and learn about what happened here you know, and how it affected them and where they're at, you know. And just on that context alone, I feel like it, it deserves a lot more attention. So right now I'm just like, let's raise awareness, make sure people know what's going on and, you know, get the conversation out there like uh, like on a bigger forum where, you know, the discussion can be taken where it needs to be taken because right now it's just it's just being had amongst, you know, a few. Mm. So that that's my take on it. That's real. I appreciate you. I appreciate this. Your post actually made me do a little bit more research. I followed People Spark on Instagram, and I noticed um, they like they had like um, food, like they were giving out hot meals. Um, there was a lot of pictures about events that was going on. There was a call for action for people to show up and be in the space because police officers come here to harass people, and when they see like so, like technically, people are supposed to. Technically, people are supposed to um, pretty much show up here and be in it like a park. Yeah, no, so it has been a park uh, all along, you know, like all this stuff that you see right now, UC Berkeley purposefully cut off the water uh, to, to come here, you, you know, that the, the keeps, that would actually keep the land. It's always been lush and green. It's never looked like this before up until the last couple weeks. You know, um, they started chopping down trees. You could see, you could see, mm -hmm. and you know, and they claimed that the trees were unhealthy or whatever. That's it's not true. right. These were beautiful redwood trees that were providing, you know, shade and and um, and then and then they left all this crap landfill here, 
and uh you know but this has been a site you know it's been it's been a park you know people have come here you know for 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 all kinds of reasons people come here for you know what i mean like you go to a park <laughs> if when you want to go to a park like you see they got the stage here they've done they've done plenty of concerts here you know one of one of my um back in 2011 like one of my like big first gigs was being able to host hip hop in the park here you know in people's park that was that was meaningful you know seeing a seeing a group of people out here just enjoying themselves and and being able to have that opportunity too you know as as a local artist where we don't even really get opportunities you mm -hmm. know really to to be seen or be heard so this is it's important you know and that's just speaking from my experience with it wow that's really beautiful and like just hearing you talk, I'm hearing people pretty much need to bring the cookout back out here. Pretty much, yeah, and that's what it is. having the get together. So maybe planning a summer bash, a couple of summer bashes where different artists come here and do their thing and there's a cookout and people eat. There's food, this water. I like that. First I, Friday. Yeah, no, stuff like that is, is uh, you know, that's what it's about. You know, that's, I think those are, that's what it's about. You know, the potential is here to do that and it's here to do that and there's actually there's there have been as i understand it you know i'm still learning a lot but um as i understand it there have there's been a system put in place to make it actually very easy for people to be able to do things like that because it's a public space so um you know people are missing out on a lot here and mm -hmm. and again you know a lot of this stuff has been intentionally uc berkeley kind of keeping it hush hush and you know to the side because they don't want really people to know like the power and the potential that this place has always had and you know and all along so that's that's that those are amazing things you bring up Wow, so I know they have like a market sometime close to UC Berkeley. I've been there a few times. I don't know if that's on first Friday, but is there a way to, you know how there's vendors by the lake, is there a way to create a systemic routine of vendors coming here maybe sometimes on the weekdays, sometimes oh, on the weekend? Yeah, I'm sure, you know, like it's it's there, the potential is there. Um, right now like as far as i know like like what we're seeing like they're really this is i don't i mean you know i, I not nobody can really know what's going to happen but but it's going to come to a point where definitely like if if that's what people want people are going to have to fight for it you know mm -hmm. and, and by whatever means you know i'm for peaceful you know solutions um, but but it's going to be something that people, let's say, will have to push for. You know, um, yeah. they're going to they're going to have to push for that because they've already kicked out a lot of people. They're letting it get run down and they're using police force. And although, you know, there's people who are like doing things to stand up for it, it seems, you know, it's just there's just there's just there's levels that you have to get, go through. And at, at this point, like where we're at with it is pretty like kind of late in the game. And, uh, you know, I, I, I expect that, you know, that, that this, all of this that we're in right now, that we're standing in, will probably be, be fenced off, you know, in the sooner, in the near future, you know, because they're, they're making moves on it every day. Yeah, they're moving fast. Yep. Yeah. That's really sad. And that is very, uh, it's very, very sad, actually, because thinking of, coming out of a pandemic and thinking we'll move in more togetherness and understanding the importance of building community so that communities can be strong when and if the next pandemic hits we literally came out with like spiteful governance you know um with um the school closures that is happening in oakland with you know land that is public space that was already indigenous people's lands that were already you know stolen to still be in like political debate about what colonizers think they want to do with it um yeah i really appreciate you for bringing my attention to this of course and thank you in any way that i can be supportive i would like to be supportive i like cooking <laughs> i will cook and yes come here and, serve meals. <laughs> and that's something we can do to where we can gather people and maybe even talk to the people that come here for their meals and to ask them where would they get meals if this place was not here anymore you right. know and like where is the nearest community resource if they take this out right and like kind of having those kind of conversations right and thinking of having to even build real life fucking bathrooms is that a bathroom over there or yeah when the, and those porta potties they got the porta potties over there but you know over here even with the public restrooms like 
uh, again, they locked, this, they locked it, but then also, you know, like throughout the years, you know, this has been like a very unpleasant restroom to go and use, but it's actually always been supposed to be under the stewardship of UC Berkeley, but they don't really like, you know, they purposefully let it get run down. It ends up actually being just a lot of like regular folk who do end up coming and clean it out of their own pockets. And, and, and you know, so there's, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> yeah, wow, thank you so much for this. For sure. And is there anything else you'd like to add about uh, what to expect from people, what people should expect, what people should do, call to action? Just, um, I mean, for me, you know, like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I know that that call to action is different for everybody. You know, we all have our roles and we all have our strengths and, and what we're here to do. And for me, I feel like it's, it's important for people to do what's more, like, what's, use your talents. Use your talents, you know, to, 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 to do something. So for me, like, that's why I'm making, I'm making a song about it. I'm making a, a video about it. You know, that's, that's how I'm utilizing my talents. And, and, you know, I just... We all have gifts, let's use them. Yes, well before we finish, since you talked about your talents and your music, mm -hmm. is there a song you'd like to sing for us that kind of speaks to what you're trying to send, mm. the message you're trying to send, a verse, a line, anything? Yeah, so um, so part of what I'm doing too is like, um, the, it, the film that I'm making, it's a, it's a two part. It starts out with a music video that's all animated that I put together and the song is called Random Acts of Nonconformity. And um, and the second part will go into the the second part will go into the film and, and interviewing everybody and about what's going on here. So I'll spit the uh, the third verse from Random Acts of Nonconformity. I don't rock for shock value. I'm just constantly trying to outdo what my younger self wasn't allowed to, cause I was getting party fouled out by the fun police. Square bear misery love sunken company, and they hate it when the homo sapien live funkily put me in the cubicle to punish me. Who you humbling? I'm grassroots, the fiddler on the roof, the gypsy that you call when there's a snake in your boots. You flew the coop while I caught the sucker and kissed the cobra on his head. Free it in the woods so you could put your kids to bed. I wish you didn't give the meds and fed them ice cream instead, but your brain left wing, right wing, night of living dead. The skeletons in your closet are all cross dressers. Daytime come, you door to door cross bears. We secretly all got traumas from our parents, but we scared to admit it because we're embarrassed, but I'm sharing this. Wow, thank you so much for that. Can you tell, can you repeat clearly your artist's name, where we can find you, and yeah, your information. I'm Senor Gigio. Um, yeah, I'm Senor Gigio. You can look me up on, you know, all my stuff is on all major streaming platforms. Spotify, YouTube, Bandcamp, and um, you know I'm on all social media, Senor Gigio, and uh, peace. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you Satal. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's time to address the depressing source of normalcy. 